I feel like today, despite its thousand degree weather, is a great day to test some stuff out. Um, in my last video, which was my first video, I talk about oily skin. I was talking about certain skin products that accidentally changed my skin. And I go on to talk about certain brands that contain those products and that I wanted to try them. So today I'm going to go do that. I have a few errands to run and it's too hot. It's probably a bad idea, but I may as well. But just in case you haven't seen that video, I will link it. Now, Eli, I have a couple products with niacinamide in them. I went and got some samples of these products to test them out. They are very sheer. This is going to be a very light coverage. I am pink, so it's not going to look the best, but I want to do a before and after. I'll run my errands in this uncomfortable heat. I'll come back and I'll see how it looks. Before I start though, I will preface masks in this area are still mandatory inside malls and shopping centers. So just to keep that in mind. Now I've already done my skincare routine for the day. Um, I did it maybe half an hour, an hour ago, and then I dried my hair. For my skincare, in case anyone stumbles upon this and is wondering, um, I use the Biore Charcoal Great for Oily Skin. This has been better than any product that I paid 50 or so dollars for. It cleans my skin and it, before I started taking the vitamins I started taking, wasn't too drying. So I'm keeping my eye on this guy, but he's my cleanser. I also used the Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub by Ulla Henriksen today. I need a new one of these. I love this. When I wash my face, I wash it. If you have oily skin, you probably do this too. If you don't, you probably should. Um, lukewarm water with your cleanser and your scrub and then wash with like rinse with cold water, ice cold water. Um, and that recloses the pores and preps you for the rest of your routine. To aid with that, I've been using the Cordelevano Pure Toner. This absolutely smoothens my skin like you wouldn't believe and it closes my pores for a little bit longer than any other product that I've tried so I've stuck with this one. I am still open to suggestions and I'm still I've got another couple toners in my mind but for now this one works fine. For a moisturizer I've been using the Ulla Henriksen cold plunge pore remedy moisturizer. So this one is a newer product they discontinued their oil free moisturizer which was it was nice so I've been using this one. I don't like it as much as that one, so I am on the hunt for a new one, but it does the job. Um, so yeah, I that's my skincare, which I did about half an hour to an hour ago. Um, typically, if I do have to wait that bit longer before I do my makeup, I do have to like pat down my face with a damn tissue. Again, the heat doesn't help. All right. With the Ilia True Skin Primer Serum, the only reason I'm using- I don't even have much of this, I don't know where it went. The only reason I'm using this one is because I do want to try the full face of this brand's products. I don't want to try mine and just in case, you know, like ruin it. Okay, I don't have too much of this. I've put it mainly down my T-zone, which is what I'm expecting to be the most oiliest parts. We'll see how that works for today. Um, in the ingredients list, I can't see any ingredients that are too beneficial for oily skin. But again, skincare health products, they're good. Oh my god. What I wanted to do was try the foundation. But it's the skin tint that has the niacinamide. So... If the foundation had a little more coverage, we'll never know. Super Serum Skin Tint by Ilia. This is the one with the niacinamide product, which I talked about in my previous video. It's a very liquid product. Now the lady, when I was talking to the lady about this, she said to apply it to the face with your fingers like you would a cream. This, oh my god, I am not an apply foundation to your skin with your hands person. This is moisturizer, this is moisturizer, oh my god. Speaking of moisturizer, I need to go buy an eye cream today. I don't expect it to cover too much. Because again, it is skincare. 
All right, this feels kind of sticky. Like in a, my skin is greasy kind of sticky, but we'll see what happens by the end of it. From what I'm reading in the ingredients, it also has hyaluronic acid. Um, helps with plump and to seal hydration. Niacinamide, it says, helps to soothe skin texture. So we know that already. Because this skin serum has niacinamide in it, the skin tint, I wonder what will happen if I put the foundation over the top, the True Skin Serum Foundation, which has the SPF. Actually, I think this one has SPF as well. Just to kind of see if I can get a little more coverage. I'm so nervous. Does anyone else get nervous trying new products, especially products that aren't the fullest of coverages? All right. Apply it like it's a moisturizer. Just apply it like it's a moisturizer. Another thing that I noticed as well, the skin tint was like on the pink side and the foundation that I have, the lightest foundation they have is on the yellow side. So hopefully they both mix into a nice neutral. I'm a medium buildable coverage person. No, because I am so pale, my veins and stuff come through. So I like to keep that as covered as possible under my eyes, over my eyes. And any kind of redness that I have, accidental redness, the wind can blow the wrong way and oh, she's red. So that's an issue. God, it feels so weird. It feels so weird. There are in these products oils that are like extract oils. Jojoba oil I'm seeing, I'm seeing um, lavender oil. I'm seeing a whole lot of different natural oils, which I know are good with oily skin best not to dry it out too intensely you're not trying to tip the scale completely you're trying to balance it so oh, i don't know okay i think this is the best i'm gonna get with this um now i'm gonna set my face because i normally do when i was talking to the lady about it she said you can because it is foundation, you can if you get oily and that's your go-to. So I'll see what happens with this powder, hopefully, because it's not too heavy as well. This is the powder that takes the longest to get cakey for me. It's the powder that unfortunately doesn't come in a smaller vial so I can take it with me. It doesn't come in a pressed powder. I will say, I don't know how it's gonna look on the camera. I still, <laughs> I still look pale. I'm gonna look pale. Yeah, as expected, not much is covered because I'm pink and pimply and we're not covering anything. Should I have concealed? Probably. I think that's as matte as I'm going to get it for now. Alright, I'm going to bronze and do my makeup like normally, still light, but normally because I look like a ghost. Another thing that I want to try is the NARS SPF um, Tinted Moisturizer. I've heard great things about that one, so... I'll probably review that at some point. I really want to try it. For my bronzer, I use the NARS Laguna Matte Bronzer. I didn't know that this came in a matte bronzer. It blew my mind. I went there um, for the other one and I was complaining to her about oily skin and she's like, you know, we have a matte one. No, I did not know that. Thank you, kind lady. So I've been using that. It's actually still the first one that I bought. It's, it's good. And there's no like sheen to it obviously it's matte now when it comes to complexion ugh, i'm not really one to follow the trends not a lot of trends suit my face shape i have a diamond face shape so i just typically do a light here and here i bl I'll blend it it looks weird now but you know give me a sec and under my chin i used to do more of a contour and everything but I realized that a lot of the contouring was to give that impression of a chiseled jawline and a chiseled cheek I have that so when I do makeup and I chisel my already chiseled features I look very masculine which is nothing wrong with but I've liked softening those features so I don't usually put any bronzer or anything up here my head goes up sharp if I put any bronzer on the top of my head it gets smaller and I don't know. I don't like the way that it looks. That might change. I used to like the way that it looked. 
I no longer do. Ugh, this, this right here. Yeah. For blush, I actually use an hourglass. I'm pretty sure it's a bronzer. It's a radiant bronzer. Now, I don't know the name of it, but I bought it as a bronzer. And it was very warm. And so now I use it as a blush, which kind of takes any pink away. It's, it's a warm blush. Does it look like I'm sunburned usually? Yeah. Can I do anything about it? Probably. But this was expensive, so we're going to use it. Because I'm so pink, I've avoided, like, I've avoided blushes. But, because uh, the concept of it was weird, you know, you're, you're covering your pink and then you're going to add more pink. I don't know. But it adds dimension, whatever. It makes me look less angry. With a nose contour, I typically, I don't know why I'm doing this. I am going to be wearing a mask when I get in. I, I don't know, I guess I like to box contour my nose. It's a, My nose is a little bulbous. Um, and lately I've just been boxing it down, but maybe like a year ago I was taking advantage of the bulb bulbulness, bul is that what it's called? I was taking advantage of it because it's cute, I think it's cute, it's just that lately I've been boxing it down, whatever. And I have been putting bronzer under my lip here. In the winter, when I, okay. Not in Australia, because it's hot in the winter. We don't have winter here. <laughs> in Canada, when I was in winter, I was also putting bronzer in my cupid's bow to kind of make my lips look bigger, because they're not big at all. But here, my makeup melts. I look like I have a moustache, which it's not even like a cool moustache. It's a moustache that gets all droopy and sweaty, and you're like, bro, what do I do next? I've forgotten how to apply makeup. Oh, yeah. With my eyebrows, my eyebrows are probably the thing that I'm worst at because I've always had eyebrows. So I won't know how to perfectly kind of make them. I've just been using the Benefit Gimme Brow. I got the sample size by mistake. I was so upset. It came in the mail and I was like, no, why? It's all right. I'll use it. I'll get a new one. But yeah, I've always had eyebrows. So it's just a matter of maintaining them and getting them waxed every week. So yeah, I wouldn't be the person that you come to for brow knowledge. Also, because my eyebrows don't typically follow the trend. Because again, they make my face look a lot angrier than I want it to look. Which is a shame, because I really like chunky, thick eyebrows. I really like them, dark ones as well. But, you know, it's not for me. I've tried like really thin brows as well, they're not for me either, so. We'll find a happy medium here. I feel like I just got my eyebrows done, but it looks like I need to go do them again. Ah. So yeah, that's all I do for my eyebrows. Sometimes, like if I'm going glam and I want to fill them out, I will use a powder to kind of... What's the word? Bulk them? Intensify them? I, I will use a powder for that. And it's usually just an eyeshadow powder. Like I don't have too many brow products except for that gel. And it's been working fine, you know. Alrighty, for eyes, I'm just gonna do something casual. I'm just going, it's just errands. Today's just an errands day. It's not gonna be the most exciting makeup, but we're not here to, you know, try hard things. I'm not gonna put on blue sparkly eyeshadow to go get some things. All right, I am gonna be using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. We are gonna play it very simple today just want to try and cover all the veins in my eyes oh it's so weird this is so dark without all my um concealers and primers and stuff when i do natural eyes i i'll do this and i'll just leave it but it seems it's so dark this isn't a dark color this is the second lightest brown in this palette but you know i'm almost see-through so any color on me is dark. I think I'm most annoyed at the fact that only in the last two or three days I've had these little breakouts and it's because it's been really hot. Before that, I was fine. It feels like as soon as I turn on my camera and don't wear makeup, my face is like, hey, guess what? All right, that's the most I'm gonna do. With my eyeshadow, 
I do typically bring it out to a point further than my eye. Um, my eyes are very close to the center of my face and my cheekbones are very wide. So I feel like this kind of balances me out a little bit. Sometimes I don't. If I do like a very bold eye, I won't wing it out. I'll do it like, I won't, for instance, do a winged liner or anything. I'll just kind of have the liner end at exactly where my eye ends and then wear lashes. But I don't have lashes today, so we're gonna wing out my eyeshadow. I'd be curious to know how other people do it. I watch a lot of the YouTube channels, the makeup channels here on YouTube. Everyone has such different ways of doing things. Everyone has such a unique, it's so exciting. And like, for instance, I know that with my eyeliners and my eyeshadows, I bring it out very parallel, parallel to what the ground, very straight. I don't slant my eyeliners or my eyeshadows because it does not suit me. And I did for so long, but I have a semi hooded eye. So when I was doing it, I would have, it would look really great. And then I'd open my eyes and it'd be gone. <sighs> and it took me going to makeup college to realize, ah, there are more than one ways to do that. Cool. <sighs> do I want to make it darker? <sighs> okay, I'm going in with pudding. Why? Because I've been conditioned by <laughs> my routines. Should I just do the bottom? Mm -hmm. This is very hard. This is very hard to make it darker, to not make it darker. Usually my mantra when it comes to makeup is just add more black, make it darker. And now it's like... You are very pale, remember this. You're going out to pick up some lashes and to, you know, buy some stuff. You're not going out. When I add black to the ends of it, again, it's to elongate it to give the illusion that my eyes are a little more wide set without actually drawing too much attention into it. I feel like in my last video, I, um, I did the same makeup look. I just had dark on the outer parts of it, just kind of elongating it and mascara I didn't have lashes then either it feels so dark because if you look at the oh, I don't know maybe it doesn't look different but I feel I feel like it does um in the inner corner uh there's a shade called coconut cream I just use that it's very subtle but it does more than you can imagine for my very narrow set eyes I use that same color up in my brow bone. This is all very clumsily ap applied as well. It's not very precise. I'm not going anywhere <laughs> fancy. I use it down my nose as well to kind of give that... I don't know why. I don't know why I highlight. It is a matte color, but again, because of my narrow lips, I do tend to add a lighter shadow. I am running out of products. You know when you're running out of products that aren't so much the fun products? That it's, it's like you, you need a mascara, you need a setting spray or eyeliner but you want palettes and lipsticks and stuff that's where I am right now um, for my eyeliner I use the Marc Jacobs one I've been using this one for a couple years now it's very good it's the only one that doesn't run like you put it on leave it a couple seconds and it's dry it's the same like when you blend it and stuff you got to blend it quickly because it dries but it's worked out very well for me it doesn't run in the heat it doesn't run if you cry and the annoying thing, like this works against me and I, sh I should know better, I do know better. When you line your, in, uh, your inner eye flaps, <laughs> what the fuck are they called? When you line your eyes, your inner eyes, your eyes get smaller. That shouldn't be something that I wanna do, but it is. Okay, for mascara, I'm using one by Dior. I got this as like a gift from Sephora, the Dior Show. Pump and Volume HD Mascara. It's only like a sample size that I have because my mascara ran out. I told you I need like the boring products. Um, I don't like it as much. I normally use the Better Than Sex one by Too Faced. With mascaras as well, I have long lashes. So it's never really been an issue for me to find a good mascara. Every mascara that I've tried is good. Um, 
but the better than sex one does well it's it's well i mean it's in the name it's good something i do appreciate about this smaller wand i can get my lower lashes without blinding myself um which is the only uncomfortable thing with the better than sex one it's the bigger wand and under my eyes it's smaller lashes they're still kind of long though this mascara like it's okay i don't feel it running or smudging either but again like mascaras for me have always been fine i'm just gonna Burt's Bees lip balm because it's so annoying like my face is oily when my lips are dry so thanks for that one satan i do see my skin at, like already starting to get a little bit glowy we know we know what's gonna happen it doesn't feel oily so so far i like it i might just touch up with my powder again before i go it is now what time is it it is now quarter past two in the afternoon so i will check back in i'll check in when i get back so you see what it looks like outside in the elements and then i'll check in at the end of the day and see how long it lasts um i'm gonna go now and tie my hair into a very non-threatening humidity repellent braid it doesn't look that bad. I'm a little impressed. And we're back. Hang on. So, let's address the elephant in the room. The humidity got me. May I rest in peace? Okay. I don't know how... Well, this is gonna. Sorry, I'm just looking at the monitor. Don't know how well this is gonna pick up on camera. <sighs> Welcome back. I can't say that because you were gone. I was gone for a second, but I was really gone for two hours. So this is my two hour check in. I'll check in again later. Um, before I start, I wanna set the scene a little so today i went up to the mall which i don't drive there it is a 15 20 minute walk i walk up a hill to get there and i walk down that hill to get back in the 15 minutes of extreme heat i felt oily happening in the mall itself it was air conditioned i felt fine I was wearing a mask the whole time. Is my... Oh. Is my nose pink because that's just how it is? Or is it pink because of the mask? It could be both. It was fine. I walk outside. I feel fine. I don't feel oily. I do when I, when I do that. Yeah, I do. But my skin doesn't feel like it's, you know, heavy and cakey and, and drooping and melting. So it still feels very light, but I know my skin. I'm very aware that it's not going to be like that. So I was out for two hours and then I walked back in this extreme heat. I am so sweaty, by the way, and it's about to start thunderstorming by the looks of it. Cool. And yeah, so that's just to let you know the conditions. I'm not in an air conditioned car when I go there. I'm walking there. Um, I don't hate it. Let me explain. Like, I know, like, I am shiny. Like, I do look shiny. But I don't hate it. And I think it's because, A, it doesn't feel like makeup. My skin, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup because it was moisturizer, consistency foundation. It was skincare foundation. I I mean, it's a hot day. Compared to what I look like normally, normally it's all crackly here. I'm like hiding, there's a window here and I'm about to shade it. It's all crackly here and drippy and then around the nose it's drippy. Um, around my chin as well, everything kind of separates right and I don't hate it 
because yeah it looks a little shiny but it's a hot day so this is without any touch-ups now I don't hate it obviously I'm gonna have to keep trying it and I ran out of the primer because it was a sample but I am not mad and I'm kind of shocked at how not mad I am because I was expecting to come home because I feel like ugh, I feel gross by the way if you can hear the air conditioning I, I can't turn it off it's not gonna happen it is way too hot and I'm sorry I'm gonna try and speak louder because I can hear it it's up there I can hear it um what was I saying I'm tempted to powder it now that it's been two hours and to see how it lasts for the rest of the night. I'm not going anywhere else today. I have to like, you know, do adult things. I have to cook and clean and stuff. But normally that feeling of like, you know when, yeah. you know when you come home and you just want to take it off, you want to take everything off, wash your face and everything. I don't have that yet. It doesn't feel like that yet. I don't feel heavy. I feel like I've just been wearing moisturizer and it's been two hours and my skin's getting a little dewy because that's how it is. So I don't have that urge to wash it, that gross, I need to wash my face feeling. <sighs> so I'm just I'm checking it out. Like I'm, I'm, I am shiny, but it doesn't feel bad. And I was, that was a car, whatever. I was thinking about this on the way home. Um, if this is skincare stuff, I'm gonna need to be using it constantly to see changes, right? I'm gonna have to be using it every day, every second day to kind of see how my skin changes with it because skincare is for your skin, right? It's not makeup that you just put on top. So I'm thinking that I might need to buy these products. Now, I have two sam I have two samples of the foundation serum. So I might just use them until the end, but the primer if I can't get another sample of that because it was pretty empty when I tried it, um when I used it, I might buy the primer. The primer felt nice. I like the Benefit Professional Primer, but it feels very silicone-y, very leathery on my skin. Yeah, it could be what makes it work, but that's what I feel first. When my makeup starts to separate, I feel that. And also, like, if my skin is a little dry, it'll bunch up. This didn't do that. I am interested in trying that primer and buying it again. Um, I can't get over it. I can't get over the flyaways. We're gonna just let it, let it be. I'm sort of in shock because yes, I am. I am shiny, and I hate it. But after two hours of being out in that heat, I am a lot less shiny than I usually am. If that makes sense. Like I said, it's it's as if I did my skincare. And, oh, I just realized something. I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. I did my skincare. I've sat around at home and my face is shiny. That's, that's what it feels like. And I did just realize the oiliest places are where I use the blush and the bronzer. I use the bronzer on my nose as well. These lighter parts here in my jaw is usually as oily as the rest of my face. So is my head. But the oiliest parts are where I used the other makeup. And it's not even like I would say it's I would say it's the T-zone, but it's not. My chin is fine. My forehead is fine. It's where I used the other makeup. It's where I used the NARS and the hourglass. So, am I going to do research into what other products Ilya have? Absolutely. But I'm, yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense.
what I'm thinking. What time is it now? A quarter to five. Okay, so it's been two and a half hours. <sighs> Should I touch up now? And see what happens later tonight? No. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to check back in later because where is it? Because something like this, I'm not going to be taking out with me. Sometimes I do, like if I'm going to a wedding or a, a long day where I'm going to need my makeup to stay and I'm not drinking and no one cares. I take this. But I don't take it everywhere. I usually take a compact with me and it's too dark for me so I don't use it anyway. But I'm going to see how it is to not touch up because most of the time I have nothing to touch up with. Which I really should look into. I feel like it's important. But I just can't find a good pressed powder that's not, you know, cakey or too flower looking on my skin. So I'm going to leave it. It's been two and a half hours. I'll figure out when to check in later, but I am impressed. Okay, my pores as well. Let me... Wow, I have very unhealthy skin, huh? While this is scary to look at my pores, oh my god, I'm breaking out everywhere. While I do have a lot of pores here, would you believe me if I said that it's a lot less than normal? Would you believe me if I said that when I come home, I look like, how do you explain it, sinkholes? And it's disgusting. And from far away, like from here, it doesn't, I'm checking out the monitor, it doesn't look like that. I'm... <sighs> What? I'm impressed for now because I do, it does look like I'm shiny, but I don't feel gross. I think a part of me wanted to really not like this product. I'm so used to piling on products that are like more powders and, and matte and powder and matte and all that kind of stuff. A light layer of transparent foundation. And I'm not mad at it. Is like you can tell I'm the shock in my voice. Two hours and I'm normally melting, and I'm not melting, and I'm, just, I'm just. Uh, I will check back in in a couple hours after I do all my things. I'm impressed. Like I said, normally in two hours, three hours time, I have to retouch because I look like oil. I look like a good fry and egg on my face. And uh, it's like, it's still oily, but it's more of a glow than it is an oil. If it were an oil, like my makeup would be moved and separated and you know what I mean? Especially on a day like today, where it was hot and muggy and humid and... Ugh. Yeah. I will see you in a few hours. I'm still sitting here shocked. I can't. Okay. I'm happy with this so far. Where should I start? First of all, I'm going to take these off, because, damn. What do you see? Because... I have had this makeup on for a long time. It is now 9.10 in the evening. That's seven hours. I am shiny here, yes. We've established before like where I put on the powders, I am shiny. 
But here in my T-zone, well, on the part that I only put um, the Ilya stuff on, it's like a light glow. This is the oily part. But the rest of it is fine. Here on my jaw, where I usually I do get oily, I am not oily. Man, what do I say? I feel like if someone were to call me now and say, hey, we are out for drinks, do you want in? I feel like I could touch up slightly, put on a pair of lashes and be like, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's test this theory. Where's my powder? I wonder if now, after now, I'll, do, I'll only do one side so we still have a reference. I wonder. We'll do, we'll do this side. Seven hours on a very hot, muggy day. It's actually still really hot now. Seven hours. This light coverage, skincare finish, foundation. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I really... I'm just... Because this happens to me. When I checked in earlier, it would have been this and like separated, but it's not separating, it's not cakey. And when I apply, yeah, when I reapply some powder, some light powder, it is still not cakey. No, not with this. I don't. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. Let me touch up the other side too so I can take myself a little more seriously in that mirror, in the monitor. It's just, it's such a weird, it's, I can't even explain it, man. Whoops. There is powder everywhere. Powder everywhere. So this part I didn't touch up earlier. I... Like, I don't have many words. I have some words, but I'm, I've either said them or they're not in English. I don't know, man. I feel... Oh, boy. Sorry for the outfit change, by the way. It is 100 degrees today. I just feel like I've been gypped. How many years now am I buying all these products? Am I angry? Am I relieved? I really... <laughs> uh. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to treat these products just like I would treat any skincare products. Which means that most likely I will be buying them test it out for about a month or for as long as the bottles last me because with skincare it's like you can't tell it's not no skincare is a miracle product that works overnight you need to kind of test it and see where it takes your skin um to see how it works but from the get-go from the first time trying these products i don't know man i'm suspicious of how i've never worn a product and been like holy shit this is Great. I've worn it, like with um, the other Spass one that I talked about in my last video, I, I wore it, and as I wore it, I was like, this is beautiful. 
And then it like three, four hours later, it turned to shit because of, you know, me. Mm. I will treat these like skincare because it's going to be some, it's summer now. And I was looking for a lightweight tinted moisturizer consistency foundation, tinted moisturizer, but with SPF. And I was going to try the NARS one, but this foundation is SPF 40. It's very lightweight, niacinamide, tinted because it's, you know, a foundation. I just... I, I don't... I don't think I have anything else to say. Let me know what's on your mind. Let me know what you're thinking. Because I look healthy. I've never figured out how to finish videos, so um...